There's no Arc de Triomphe in this year's tour, but close to the finish of the first stage is the Arch of Rimini. This is the oldest in Italy. It was made more than 2,000 years ago by the Romans in 27 BC, and now it looks like it's held together by spit and glue. And that's because it has seen an awful lot of ground shaking. I'm going to take you up into the Apennines and explain to you why this region is one of the earthquake hotspots of Europe. Earthquakes in the Apennines are the result of plate tectonic processes. Rocks in the east are being squeezed together and in the west are being stretched. And the stresses involved cause rocks to fracture. And when there's motion along those fractures, we call them faults. And fault motion causes earthquakes. Now the plate tectonic processes occur at a rate of no more than a few millimeters per year. And a few millimeters of fault motion would not generate a large earthquake. But those faults are sticky and rough and they can withstand stress. So instead of moving, those few millimeters are stored in the rocks that squeeze together like a sponge. And even a few centimeters of stored motion might not be enough to move the fault, and sometimes not even meters, but there is going to be a point that the stresses are so high that the fault can no longer withstand them, and it ruptures. And all of that stored motion is released in a matter of a few seconds, and that is an earthquake. Italy has some of the best earthquake scientists in the world, but even they cannot tell when an earthquake will happen. What they can say is where it might occur and how big it could be. And they can even make maps of how the ground will shake if it happens. And with that information, engineers can make buildings to withstand earthquakes, which is the best way to keep everybody safe. Fortunately, even in an earthquake hotspot, large earthquakes are quite rare. And probably the shakiest things today are the nerves of the riders as they approach their first opportunity to win a stage. We really hope that you're enjoying our clips of the geology of the Tour de France and other cycling races, and we love bringing it to you. And there's plenty where that came from, but we can't do it without your financial support. So click on the link, consider a donation, and we hope to see you next year.